good. I made a square too. You made a square? Show me. Oh, our faces on the camera have a square. I got it. I have a square and you have a square. That's cool. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Chelsea and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, Presley is going to help us open October's Aluma Crate. October. That's the month we're in. Yeah. Yeah, October. So the lighting is going to be a little bit weird because like if you see, I have the ring light on. It's actually like six o'clock at night. The lighting is gone. Uh, I wasn't actually going to film Nine. anything today. Film this today. Uh, we haven't done a dedicated unboxing in a while, but the Illumicrate box was in the mailbox when we got our mail today. And Presley really, really wants to open this box and know what's inside, and he wanted to do it on camera. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I want to do it on the camera. Yes, wants to do it on the camera. So that's what we're gonna do. We have the Illumicrate box for October. For Should October. For October. Should we open it up? Yeah. Okay, do it. Let's open it. Whoa, okay. Yes, let's start with this paper here because this tells us the theme, which is fairy tale forests. Next month's theme is going to be anti hero. And there's lots of squiggly paper stuff in here. So, we got to figure out what's under the paper. Why don't you find something for us? I think I see something. Oh, okay. Pick it out. Let's see. Ooh, this is a big item. Let's see. It's in plastic. In plastic. To me, it looks like a mouse pad. Mouse pad. And it does say there's a desk pad. I so. want to hold it. Okay, you can hold it. When I took it out, the paper thing for it came right off. It's the Otherworld desk mat based on The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by what Roshani Chokshki. So this is the like information. Oh, yeah, what? it's a very, very big mouse pad, desk pad thing. Is... Let's let's show the camera. Oh. So it's gonna be this way. I guess you can look first. <laughs> that is, and there is a bird. Yeah, there is a bird. There's the bird. There's the bird. Can I show the camera? Yeah. Okay, so. This is what it's gonna look like. It is very nice. I love the purple of it. I have not read this book, so I don't know what everything is, but like Presley said, there is a bird. I also do like that there's like keys that have little birds on them as well. Keys. Yeah. Can um, I see the keys? Yeah. Where are the keys? Well, like this one's a key and that one's a key. Yeah? Yeah. But this is a very nice item. I actually do have a desk pad. Um, on my desk currently just because I like having such a big like mouse pad area um, So I might change it out for this one. I might not I might save this one for when this one is Like destroyed, um, but this is a very nice item. So yeah, it's a very nice item Let's find another thing. Yeah, I think I see something Let's see. What is it? What did we get? What did we get? What is that? Ooh, these are cool. Okay, let's show the camera first. What is it? Let's see. These are Woodland Treasures page tabs inspired oh. by Bitterthorn. Oh. Yes, yeah, so we have stuff that's like a bundle of sage and some different flowers and leaves and rocks. Um, so those are very cool. I don't personally use page tabs only because I don't annotate but I do like the design of these I will leave all the artists and everything linked down below for you guys as well in case you want to check them out should we find another item yeah okay I think I see something he thinks he sees something what we find ooh something in a bag something in a bag something in a black bag let's see what I want to pick it yeah what is it Ooh, what does it look like? What is it? What is that? It's a sword replica. Sword replica. Yeah, the last time 
I received one in a box. I don't know if we've had any that I've like skipped or anything I like that. I like this. You like this one? But the last one I received one, uh, the last time I received one, it had glitter My all over it. one is this one? So far, this is his favorite item. Um, the glitter was falling off. This one doesn't have glitter. I'm gonna show the camera a little bit more close up, okay? So it obviously is very shiny. It has like leaves or something like that, like some foliage on the actual like sword and then the hilt is really cool like I do like the I look of this I one a lot something else. and this is a night fell replica which is from the cool prince which I have not read um, but I like the look of this one a lot this is my favorite item. that's his favorite item um, and I like it a lot especially compared to the last time we got a replica at least the last time I got a replica which had glitter that was like actually falling off like it wasn't like enclosed in anything to keep it on there so this is a very nice one nice heft as well yeah yeah that's a cool and one it's not fragile no it's not fragile you're right okay i think we have another item before we get to the book that is my favorite item yes that's a good item let's see is there more stuff in there is that a book well this is a different item before the actual book let's see what it is huh what is it what is it well, I think this is a notebook. A notebook? Yeah, let's open it out of the plastic. Oh. My favorite item is the sword. Your favorite item is a sword? Mm. That's a very boy answer for you. Mm. So this is a notebook. Yeah, it's a notebook. I do really like the fact that it's like square. You don't see very many notebooks mm. that are like this size. I like that. It feels very like unique in that way. Um, and on the front it says, for finding dreams that don't exist yet. And I can touch it. Yes, of course you can touch it. This is inspired by Once Upon a Broken Heart, which again, I have not read. Uh, the pages are dot grid, which I guess makes more sense for a square notebook. Um, and you can obviously close it with the elastic because there is one here. Um, right there it does have a ribbon for a bookmark and a space to put a pen so personally this is probably gonna be my favorite item just because this is I, your favorite item yes I always love stationary stuff and I'm always writing things in notebooks both for my YouTube channel but also just in everyday life and other projects and stuff that I'm doing like when I do my readathon on this channel that kind of stuff so I I really do like this one a lot this is a good one, huh? Yeah. But you like the sword the best? Yeah. Okay. I think that's the last item before we get to the book. Should we get the book now? Yeah. Reach on in there. Ooh, this is a thick book. I don't think I was expecting it to be this thick. Yeah. It's a very thick book. So, it is in plastic. Let me take it out. Is this an item? It is an item, but this is the book of the month. It's the book of the month. Yeah, so there's no other items in there anymore. Just the book. It's the book. It's the book. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Do you want to show the camera? This is the yeah. front. Here we go. It's going to be very shiny with the uh, ring light on. But we have After the Forest by Kel Woods. And I can touch it too. Oh, of course. Yes, you can touch it too. Um, this is a book obviously that I don't personally remember what I think the UK edition looked like I remember the US one and I really do like what they've done with this like I like the whole gilded sort of design on it where it's not like cartoony um, we do have like a little bear down here which is cute right here you see the bear yeah yeah um, but it is after the forest I believe this has something to do with like fairy tale stuff I'm gonna have to Maybe look that up because I don't fully remember. Oh, yes. 20 years after the witch in the gingerbread house, Greta and Hans are struggling to get by. So this is going to be some sort of, like, future uh, Hansel and Gretel sort of storyline. So, like, after that happened, um, here is our spine here. Again, I'm spine? loving... Spine? This is the spine of the book. Loving the, like, foiling aspects to it. It's not on this back part. Uh, and then... Oh, where are you going? Sliding down. Here are our edges, which again has a bear. Presley has already left and taken the replica sword with him, so there's there's that. Um, and then, ooh, okay, very, very pretty underneath as well. 
I like that again it looks like an older sort of book I've noticed that not just the Crate, but some of the other boxes that I've gotten recently like Rainbow Crate and stuff have been doing this where like you have the book and then under the dust jacket it looks like a completely different book and I really like that style so even though it does still say after the forest on here I don't know it just something about it screams more like old library book sort of style and I like that a lot um, they do have a quote on the front, but I can barely read it, and I think it's supposed to look very faded, so I don't actually know what the quote says, but I really like the style of this. Uh, and then we do have end paper art as well, which is very, very cute. Love the style. And it's different on the other side. So, yes, this is going to be like a Hansel and Gretel, not exactly retelling, like, Maybe a reimagining after the fact sort of thing. I'm very excited for it and I really do like this cover. So overall, I feel like this is a very successful box from Illumicrate. I will definitely use the notebook, probably eventually the mouse pad. Presley is already playing with the replica sword. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos. I do have videos coming out on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I will see you then. Bye!